welcome back to Speed Free Garage, home of Power Sports on YouTube. We are here again with our 2019 Civic SI sedan, daily driver, and uh, when I bought the car and opened the hood, or when I opened the hood before I bought the car, I noticed that the engine cover was missing, and I thought that was super odd. Um, but from the research that I've done, I don't think it came with an engine cover. Or everybody just rips them off right away. But either way, it's a little a little concerning. Now, engine covers serve a purpose, which is to keep water out of your coils and your coil pack tubes that go down in the motor and your electronics. And yes, some of my cars I have thrown away the engine cover. And some cars, like the E36, throwing away the engine cover is a terrible idea. So... Or did I throw that engine cover away? I don't remember. But anyway, I want an engine cover. So I went and bought the cheapest, riciest engine cover I could get. So uh, they do offer it with a Honda logo. The eBay link's in the description below. Um, this is super crazy cheap. And what's sad is they did an amazing job. Well, except right there. But they did an amazing job on the fake carbon fiber hydrographics. But when they painted over this side in red, it is, the, you can't see it in the camera, but it is the worst uh, mass production paint job I've ever seen in my life. There is tons of junk stuck all over in the paint. Like some dude was eating pretzels and painting at the same time. Like it's terrible, but it's budget, it's cheap, and it might work, it might not. We're going to find out. So the problem is there's no instructions. And they only sent it with three studs and a washer and each stud is different. So three different studs, a washer, I don't know which stud the washer is supposed to go on. And then the only th indicators I have on this are these three pieces here. So wherever this, these three go are where the studs go. So if we lay this over the engine uh, how am I supposed to, I guess I gotta take the oil cap off. So it looks like one stud goes here, but which stud? I don't know. Um, and it looks like... A stud goes... I bet the long stud goes in here. Um, so... So basically a stud goes here, a stud goes here, right? And a stud goes there? That's, I mean, that's what I'm seeing, but I don't think one of those studs has larger threads. Did they screw me over? Oh, it does. Okay, all right, so here we go. So we got a stud with larger threads. So we know four, I didn't bring the right wrench, did I? Uh, oh no. I might be able to use a socket. Nope. Great. I gotta go all the way back out to the garage and get a wrench. Um, anyway. So. So this stud here. This 12 millimeter. And I wonder if this is the one the washer goes on. Or it could be that one. Oh, that washer's captured. So I'm going to take a wild guess that this stud is supposed to get this washer. And it's the right size. So I need a 12 millimeter wrench, but we know this stud goes there. I'm going to leave it loose so I don't forget. Now, with our 10 millimeter, we're going to have to figure out <laughs> which bolt is longer. So this bolt is, this is our right side bolt. Okay. And like these are just kind of this one looks like it goes into plastic 
This one's shorter. Okay, so that means the left side stud goes here and the right side stud is our long stud. So the long stud, long stud goes here. And the short stud goes here. And I wish I had deeper, <laughs> deeper extensions so I could get, yeah. So we're gonna have to use a wrench. Luckily I had the foresight to bring a ratcheting wrench out. And these were tight, but they weren't like tight because this one was a brass insert. Okay. And you can kind of tell when it hits its limit. This one goes, probably should check the oil in this car. Did the dealership give me an oil change sticker? Safety and emissions. Well, I reset the trip meter when I bought it, but I probably should do an oil change just to be safe, which means you guys are gonna get an oil change video of me spilling oil all over myself and cussing. Now this is tightening down on plastic. So if you go too tight, you're gonna crack it. And that would not be good because I'm sure this is ex very expensive. Okay, and now this last one, we're gonna need a 12 millimeter wrench and I need a breath of fresh air anyway because it is hot in here. Okay, so I got my new ratcheting wrench because I lost, I lost a 12 ratcheting wrench, which is the number one wrench I need to install the racing seats and switch them between cars. So most likely there's a wrench in the floorboard of a car or on the ground or on the street somewhere where it fell out of the car. So that's great. That's, that's always wonderful when uh, one of the most important tools in the shop goes missing. <laughs> so I'm gonna tighten her down. And this one was tight, but not super tight. It's just going into an aluminum block. We don't wanna screw up our engine block. Okay, and it's Chinesium anyway. Okay, so uh, this has gotta come off. Okay, wonder is this, ooh, this is, yeah. I'm gonna have to put some weight here too to get this back to shape. Man, I was hoping to install that. Anyway, okay, sorry. So, now, you might be tempted to just shove this in there, but I'm gonna tell you right now, you need to lube up your knob. Never insert your knob dry. You gotta spit it up real good. Yeah, get that wet. I'm tempted to spit into the rubber grommet too, but I think I'll hold back to spare you guys the pornography. Okay. This is so rice. I'm gonna get made fun of so much. All right. There's nowhere to like I don't even know if that's right. I mean, it's just like, <laughs> it's so rice. I'm kind of regretting this purchase actually. I don't know, it'll keep water out of my coil packs. So it is what it is. Let's see if the uh, oil cap will screw back down. Uh-oh. Man, it. Hope the plastic's not interfering with the oil cap seating. That would be bad. Are you kidding me? Did they not cut the hole large enough? Uh, it's sealing. Okay, so this is our super rice, cheap budget engine cover completed. So thank you guys for watching. The next video will probably be our trunk mat. Not that that really needs to be a video, but a video is a video. So yeah, I will see you guys next time.